Hey guys, this is Froggy2K9, and today I'm bringing you an MW2. Now, this is a little bit different to what you normally get from me. Why? This is on the console, yes. But have you noticed something? Yeah, it's HD. Oh yeah, I got a HD PVR. So, it's on. It's on, baby. I'm going to be bringing you some more, <laughs> I mean more console gameplay now. I'm going to bring you some big gameplay. I've already recorded some Nazi zombies for you guys. And I've already got some Call of Duty 4 planned up for you guys. So, have a look forward to that. And, hope you all had a good Christmas. This will be uploaded quite late at night, so... I don't know if you young kids are already in bed, but for those who ain't, happy Christmas. Hope you've had a good one. Hope you got what you wanted. I have. HD PVR. Oh, yes. It's what I wanted all day long. I've been waiting to... I've been waiting to do a commentary, to be honest with you. Uh, I spent a lot, of the, a lot of the day with my family, and I've just been waiting to do a commentary, so... Here it is. Now, I asked for... Not much at all, to be honest with you. I didn't ask for a lot when I asked for Christmas presents. Because I didn't really want much. All I wanted was my HD PVR. Uh, one or two games. And a lollipop. Yep, a lollipop. And I practically got everything I wanted, to be honest with you. One of the games wasn't there, but I'm not bummed about it. Because I got everything else I wanted. I also thought that I wouldn't be able to get my presents out to other people because I had a few issues with eBay and such not delivering on what I had ordered and they said one of them said sorry I won't I won't be sending it again now until after Christmas and I said hell no you send that now cuz I asked for it over a month ago so I could get it wrapped up and ready. And it was like... It was like... The week before Christmas before I got that shit. It was... It was nuts. I, so... Some people nearly missed out... On the shit that I was giving out. Anyway... Since I got my HD PVR... I'll be saying it one more time. I've said it before. I will be giving away a Dazzle at 50 subscribers. So if you have friends or anything that aren't subscribed to me and you want a chance at the Dazzle, then go ahead and get them to sub up. As soon as I get to 50, I'll be putting all the subscribers in a hat, pulling one out at random, and that could be you. You could have the chance to win yourself a Dazzle. But from me, you will have now have HD gameplay. Yes, HD gameplay, and I'll be putting out a lot of it. This right here is a vector gameplay. I Skid Row, I believe it is. And I love this gun. This Vector has become my little baby. Since I started using it, it's won me so many games. So many games I've won from this thing. It took two to three, maybe maybe four games to get used to it. But once I got used to it, it turned into a beast. Like an absolute animal. I, I Modern Warfare 2, I didn't actually play much of it when it came out because... I was too interested in World of War, and since World of War is now almost unplayable because of the amount of hackers that are on board it, I just I just saw so I decided, you know what, let's let's flip this up one notch and let's go to MW2. So I did, and to be honest with you, there's a lot of bullshit. I can't lie, I do rage at this game, but it's enjoyable because when I get my kill streaks, when I win the games, I'm super excited about it. So I wanted to share this with you because the Vector is an animal. It is ownage at its tops. It is completely, you know, it's it's just a it's just a beast of a gun. You should use it. Um, C4. Now the reason I'm actually using C4 is because I've been in so many free for alls in this where there's so many boosters, so many boosters that I found C4 is the best defense against them. Literally, I can go up against loads of them with C4 and just throw C4 in the middle of the pack. I've been in lobbies where 
I'm less four to five people have been boosting, so almost the entire lobby was boosting. I sort of see four straight in the middle of them. I get so fed up with that shit. People are doing that even when Modern Warfare 3 is out. I mean, come on. Come on, really? You're really worried about your stats and shit? Or if it's not that, you just wanna you just wanna level up fast? Well, play the game. I mean, I went from I went from level zero to what I am now. I I can't remember what I am now. Like forty odd in what a couple of weeks? Not because I played a lot, because I won games. I used my talents in a free for all. And there's me owning my own Pavlo. Yes. I just destroyed my own Pavlo. <laughs> That's what I did right there. <laughs> anyway, you should use your talents. If you find you've got a talent with something, I don't even mind the one-man army noob tubers because they're just exploiting something that's already in the game. But boost... Well, I can't say that because boosters are exploiting something too. It's called the tactical insertion. And is that just as bad? Maybe. Possibly. But... I'd say the one man army noob tubers. That that's that's one step too far. But noob tubes, I can I can stand noob tubes because they're in the game. They're in the game for a reason. Even though people don't use it sometimes for the proper reason, people use it. But that's that. My my worries and my worries, and I'll keep I'll keep the rest of them to myself. You don't need to hear about them. Anyway, HD gameplay from now on. Even consoles, you're gonna see HD gameplay, guys. Hope you hope you're excited to hear you. You don't have to see the crappy ass quality. I might do a a quality video to just show you how far I've come in quality from my beginning days on a camera, sitting in front of the TV on a bunch of books to today using a HD PVR. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas.